ये हेलो टुडे विल स्टार्ट विथ इनहेरिटेंस इटसेल्फ इन वेरी डेंस इनहेरिटेंस बट विथ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासेस सी हियर already before class we have explained about two classes inheritance now i'm going to explain three classes in inheritance okay three classes in that how we can do this process and what are all the things Let's see if i take a class a class class a and this is linked with uh, class class b and again this is linked with the class uh, c right and this three has to be executed with the process of inheritance okay so what i am going to do is don't take too much of complexity it is very easy and we can start with how to interconnect these three classes so what i am going to do is i am going to developer and so i am opening this here see so here i have opened and here previous blocks files was this yeah a uh, new class abex class here what i'm going to do is i'm writing as class a okay class a in class a i'm writing it as public void yum fun Open braces and close braces. Here it is system dot debug of m one method. Okay. So this is a simple class. I have written on on this uh, on class A, and we will see how it will uh, how, how it will be executed. And now I'm I'm saving this to save. Or what we shall do? Control. Yes, very nice. And again, I'm going to create one more class, class A. And here, again, I'm creating B. Okay. In this class, I'm writing as public, public void. Yum two of braces open braces close braces system dot debug yum two method okay and this I am I'm going to save this save one more class listen carefully one more class and this class I'm all written as C. Again, I am going to create with one method public void emt of open braces close braces system dot debug emt method. Okay, save. Okay, save. Have saved it. now we need to connect this with inheritance process so what i am going to do is in the a class i am writing as the keyword already i have explained you about the few keywords the two keywords are virtual and extends keywords so when you are writing a inheritance class so please keep in your mind the two keywords are important one is virtual Another one is extends, right? Very good. 
I'm writing here virtual virtual save this. I have saved. So what I'm going to do in the B class, in the B class, I'm extending this extends A. I'm saving this. Okay. And to connect with C, what I'm going to do is I am writing here a virtual virtual okay and save in the C class again I am extending extends B save okay so what I am going to do here now to execute this control E Removing this, what is the class I am writing as uh, C, C, C I equal to new C, semicolon C dot M three C dot M three. So I'm, I'm going to execute this. C I C I dot M three. What happened now? M3 has been executed. Now what I'm going to do is control E C dot C I dot M2 semicolon C I dot M1 semicolon execute. See now, the M1 method has come, M2 method has come, and M3 method has come, right? Is it good or not? Right. Suppose now, I think you people are, you people are very much interested about this. Now, we will use a keyword called super keyword. Understand this one. What is a super keyword? The super keyword which executes the previous class of the current class. Super keyword is used to extract the previous class method. Simply, I'm going to write a keyword super here, super keyword in class C. What I'm going to do, I'm writing here super dot m2 dot m2 traces semicolon control s. Okay, and again control e, I am removing this c m2 here because already have written here super keyword execute now execute now see here again you got m1 m2 m3 see how sweet is this now understand see m2 here have written here and m2 is the m2 method and A is A, M1 method. I did not write, I did not write C1 dot, uh, C I dot M2 here. Only I have written that C I dot M3 and M1. In, in C I dot M3, I have written a keyword super dot M2. So what is the super, the super key, 
exactly what is doing now here? It is extracting the previous class method. Alright? How simple it is. No? So for your sake, what I am going to do is I am commenting all these sections so that you can understand very easily. Okay. Inheritance. Inheritance of three classes. Okay. And this is a class A. Okay. And the second one is uh, uh, class A with virtual keyword. Virtual keyword. Please don't uh, don't forget these two keywords. These two keywords are important for inheritance concept. Virtual keyword. And here, what I'm going to do is enter. This is a extends class extends class of A. Okay, and the keyword is keyword keyword is extends, right? And here the third one. Uh, this is a third class third class which which is which it is extended with class B keyword keyword is extends and here in this section I have written a super keyword right so I want to mention that one also here super keyword is used to extract the previous class method, the previous class method, okay, right, and again what I am going to do is, uh, I want to save these things, so that you, you, you can copy all these things, Confess. Control E here, here. Extracted for the execution only to class methods. Because, because already written a keyword in class C. What is the keyword here? The keyword here is super keyword. Super keyword. Is it fine now? Right, what I'm going to do is again I want to execute this one. See M1, M2, M3. See how sweet it is. If you understand the concept, then it will be easy. You can pull each and everything of the code. You can learn this easily can execute this case. Only three classes. The previous session we have learned about two classes. Here, three classes. Okay. I hope you people got it. If you have any doubts, please comment the section.